Welcome to another PSD tutorial, Spoon-Fed Photoshop. This video is going to support the brilliant tutorial created by Fabio. We're going to be creating this rainbow effect using warped grids. So let's get started. I'm going to load up Photoshop. I'm going to go to File, New, and we're going to create a new canvas. Mine's going to be about 800 pixels by 600. I'm going to color colored bars and click on OK. The first thing to do is to fill that layer with black and then create a new layer to create our bars on. I'm going to come up here to the marquee tool and I'm going to draw out the size of the area I'm going to use for my colored bars and I'm also going to fill that with black. Okay so let's create these bars. Filter, down to stylize and we're going to add some tiles in. Now I've got mine set to number of tiles, 10, maximum offset is set to 1% and I've got use background color. So let's go OK. And there's our grid. So if I just deselect, you can see we've still got some little white lines around the edges that don't actually add to the effect. So I'm just going to delete them from the sides. We don't want it to look like the grid actually ends there. Oh, hi. Punch that down and delete that. So there's our grid. The next step is to add a blur effect. So I'm going to go back to my filter, go to blur, and then you select motion blur. I've got mine set of an angle of 90 degrees and the distance is about 47 pixels. You want to spread that to somewhere in the 60s or you can play around with the effect just by sliding the distance of your motion blur. But that should be alright for this effect. So I've clicked on OK. Now right now it's a little bit boring, the lines just go up vertically. So I'm going to play around by transforming my image. And I'm going to add a warp effect to that grid. I've got these brilliant tools at the top that allow us to use preset warps. And I'm going to start with the flag effect. I'm going to hit enter because I'm happy with that. And I'm just going to move it down so you can see it in the screen. Right. So there's our effect. Now I'm going to apply the color to it. I just come over to my layer and I just double click on it to get my layer style up. And I'm going to apply a gradient overlay. The first thing to do is change your blend mode to multiply. I'm then going to change my angle to zero. And I'm going to reduce the scale to about 95 or something like that. OK. Now I'm going to choose my colors. Now when you play around with these colors, because you've already changed those settings, you can preview it on the left hand side and see what those changes and those colors actually look like. So again, I'm just clicking on my color palette to get an effect that I'm happy with. Now this color scheme is going to be rainbow, so I'm going to choose my rainbow design and I'm going to click on OK. And there we go, that's our first flag shaped design all finished. I'm going to quickly show you how easy it is to create the other effects using our faded and colored bars. So I just create a new layer and I come over here and I select my rectangular marquee tool, draw out the next area. Okay, I didn't select. There we go. I'm going to fill that with black again, go back up to filter. I'm going to stylize it with my tiles. Again, leave the settings as they are click on OK. I'm going to delete those areas that I'm not happy with, the ends of the grid, just like that. Nudge that up, just make sure I get them. OK. We apply our blur, so I go filter, blur, motion blur. I'm going to reduce this a little bit. Click on OK. And then I'm going to transform. Maybe this time I'll play around with perspective. And I'll just move the top and move that in like so. Hit Enter when you're happy with the transform. Move it up so we can see it. Now, because I'm sticking to the same rainbow style for all of these logos, maybe your client has given you a color scheme to work with, I can just 
control click on a Mac onto my layer that I've already done and I can copy the layer style. I can then control click again on this layer and I can paste the layer style without having to do anything. And you can see the effect I've got there. If I'm not happy with the effect, for example, maybe you want all the colors to go in a straight line, you don't want to fade to the left or right, you can just double click on that layer, go back into your gradient overlay, maybe add an angle, and so on. And just really play around with it until you get the look that you're looking for. Okay, I'm happy with that to be on zero. So I click on OK. I'm just going to do one more. Again, make sure you create a new layer. Highlight the area. Fill it with black. Filter stylize tiles. Number of tiles still set to 10 and the offset is still set to 1. Make sure you delete the bottom parts. Okay, like so. We're going to go up and we're going to apply that blur, that motion blur. Leave the settings all the same and click on OK. This time I'm just going to delete the bottom part so we don't get that faded out look. It's just got a solid bottom. We're going to go to free transform or just transform. This time we'll try another warp effect, maybe we'll go for the arch, let me just apply that sorry, before I try and move it, and again I'm going to control click on that layer and I'm going to paste my layer style. And that's it, I'm happy with those logos, I hope that's useful for you, and obviously All the tutorials are on the website, step-by-step -step guides will take you through everything you need to know and we'll show you some other examples of what you can do using this particular technique. So thanks very much to Fabio for creating that brilliant tutorial and I hope this video goes some way to helping you and support you in your project.